everyone welcome to the shrimpy mickey channel my name is helen and thanks so much for being here with me be sure to click like and subscribe if you enjoy this video i thought i would do something out here in a park today like a bit of a vlog style video because it just felt like getting out of the house in my usual environment uh, but anyhow without any further ado the reason i'm here is because i would like to talk to you guys about pixie cuts and uh whether or not they're easy to deal with and stuff like that so i'm just going to tell you about why i don't think you should get one starting now so pixie cut is really pretty and it seems to be like one of these terms that captivates people. People always want to know more about pixie haircuts. Should they get one? Should they not? It's just something that really captures people's imagination. And when I say people, I mean usually women. So that's usually who gets pixie cuts. Um, I don't think you should get one though. And I've got some really good reasons based on my own experience. And also at the very end here, I'll say why you really should get one. So I just want to give you a balanced sort of reporting of it. But for me, the pendulum kind of swings toward not getting a pixie cut. I will never get one again. And I'm going to tell you why starting now. The number one reason that I do not suggest getting a pixie cut is because it really does not work for all hair textures and hair fullness levels. If you have really thin hair, it's not a great idea because you're gonna see through to your bald spots quite easily, and that happened to me. I can show you some of that, of how that looked when I had a bit of a pixie cut look and my hair started to thin. It was just really visible. It was quite hard to hide because you don't have any hair to sort of comb over it. Um, another thing is if you have too thick hair, then it just gets unruly really, really quickly. I mean, despite what Pinterest would have you believe, which is that pixie cuts are super easy, they're really not. They're actually, they're not as easy as you might think. So that's reason number one. You have to really consider the type of hair you have before you get a pixie cut. The other reason I don't think you should get a pixie cut is because it's really expensive to maintain. Everybody who I've ever spoken to, and definitely this rings true for me because I've had a pixie cut, is that you have to be there about every six weeks at the hairdresser to get your locks trimmed, to get it all sort of done up at the sides, because if you don't, then you get sort of long hair here and it becomes a mullet, which is not a good look. So you will be there quite a bit and it's expensive. It's way more expensive than having like a bob that you're gonna grow out or just having long hair and just letting it grow longer. Pixie cuts are pricey. Yeah, reason number two. Reason number three you absolutely should not get a pixie haircut is because of bedhead. Listen, if you've had long hair and you've never really had bedhead because it's all kind of heavy and flows and sits nicely on your pillow, that is not the case with a pixie cut. You will have some of the wildest looking bedhead you've ever had in your life. At least that was my experience. It goes up in every which direction and there's pretty much nothing you can do at that point other than really, really wet it and slick it down um, or just wash it. You know, many, many mornings the bedhead was so severe that I just actually had to wash my hair. Another reason, reason number four not to get a pixie haircut is you will be washing your hair all the damn time. I know I was. You know, you just can't get away with like leaving it for three days. In my experience, my hair would get greasy and I don't even have greasy hair, but it would get greasy in about a day, two days max. Then you're back to having to wash it. So if you're someone who does not like to wash your hair frequently, I really would not suggest getting a pixie cut. They are high maintenance, man. You you have to wash your hair a lot. That said, it's really quickly for your hair to dry, so it does have that going for it. But on the whole, I think you just spend more time working on it. It's supposed to be like a real easy haircut. You just get it, wash and wear, and in some regards it is, but then you just make up the time doing things like going to the hairdresser and like washing it every two days. So yeah, you have to weigh those things as well. And everyone, my last reason, reason number five, why I think you should not get a pixie cut is that it takes such a long time to grow out. And even if your hair is really quick growing, you're gonna go through such a long, awkward phase. I mean, I did. I still consider my hair to be in an awkward phase. What ends up happening with a pixie cut is this part it doesn't grow as fast as this part. So when you do get to bob length, you often have just these shorter bits and then you have these longer bits and then they don't meet up and then your hair looks textured and it's hard to get it sleek and ugh. Oh my goodness, listen, I didn't choose a pixie cut, so maybe if you're thinking about choosing it, the experience would be a little different. And the reason I didn't choose a pixie cut is, if you follow my channel at all, you already know, I went through chemotherapy a couple years ago, and so my hair grew out really slowly, and so the first stage there was, you know, having a pixie cut, and I let that grow, and man, that letting it grow period was about easily a year just to get to the length that I'm at now, probably even longer. Uh, it's a slow going. And so if you don't have a lot of patience for waiting for your hair to grow or you hate having that awkward face from bangs, if you hate the awkward face from bangs, you're gonna despise growing out a pixie cut. But however, that said, there's a really good reason to get one and I will get to that in one second. 
So now I've sort of summed up all the reasons why you shouldn't get a pixie cut, but now I wanna talk about the one main reason and maybe the best reason that you should get one is that they are absolutely adorable. You're gonna get more compliments on your hair, especially from other women than you've ever had in your life. People are gonna be telling you, oh my gosh, it highlights your eyes, it highlights your cheekbones. You look so great with that haircut. I wish I could wear that hair. You will get, you'll be surprised how many people will comment. You will probably get more comments in one week than you've probably had in the last two years of your life. At least that was my experience with having a pixie cut. But like I said, there are those, all those other factors to add up as well, so you've gotta weigh it for you. For me, I'll absolutely never go back to having a pixie cut. It was just way too much maintenance, and I'm still trying to grow it out, you know, a year plus later. Uh, but, you know, if it works for you, you should give it a try. There's sometimes it's not like one of those haircuts that you can kind of have an idea what it looks like. You really will not know what you look like in a pixie cut until you have one. You know, you can also maybe buy a wig. Some people do that if you get a really cute looking pixie cut wig, but make sure you learn how to put it on properly. That you can get the look for like not too much money and obviously no commitment, except for the money that you spent on the wig. So that's maybe a good tip for sort of going the halfway route with that. But in general, I would never tell someone to get a pixie cut because there's just a lot of things to consider. But yeah, you gotta do what works for you. All right, everybody, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. I do so much of this kind of content, especially about hair stuff. I'd love to hear from you um, and what your thoughts about having a pixie cut or not are. Like I said, uh, I'll never do it again, although I can really appreciate how it looks on a lot of women. I have a lot of reaction videos. I react to celebrity pixie cuts, so have a look at that one. That's kind of fun. And uh, thanks, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.